Hello there, faithful few. And welcome back to DMS Adventures. Where to use the ten of our dreams, we're going to have to seal the seams. Okay, it might be stretching it a little bit to call the Checker 3 the 10 of our dreams. Maybe if it was made out of Dyneema and the vestibule was a little bigger, then yeah. So hiking season is more or less upon us, so we wanted to get the Trekker 3 ready for the season. So we're going to add a little bit of seam seal to the seams. Obviously, that's what you use seam seal for. And then we're going to treat the fabric a little bit with both a waterproofing spray and some permethrin to keep the bugs away. <laughs> and I've got the crazies here to help me out today. Hello! So to do seam sealing, what you need to have are the following items. You need some seam sealer. We just picked this up from Amazon. Uh, we know we used it last year and we know it works, so we're going to use it again. Then you need some bowls to put the seam sealer in. And then it's best to have some brushes because... This brush is old. Then we got a silicone water guard to spray on the fabric. And then once all that's dry, the last stuff we'll put on is some permethrin to keep the bugs away. Especially the daddy long legs. Dun, dun, dun. Now since we used these things already last year, we already know that they are okay to use with this tent. However, if you go to do this yourself, be sure to test these things on the fabric somewhere inconspicuous to make sure that it doesn't discolor your fabric. Okay, so let's get to sealing. There's your brush. There's your brush. Let's do it. to it, putting a light coat on, just to be sure we are protected. Protected. Yeah, protected. Alright, so when you have a budget tent like the Trekker 3, this is just kind of something you may have to do, sealing the seams that is. Now, a lot of times you'll seal the seams from the inside as well. We actually did that last year, so we're not going to do that this time around. Just gonna get an extra coat on the outside, just to put another layer of defense should we get stuck in the rain. Alrighty, next up is the spray for the fabric itself. I'm so short! <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> We got all the seam sealing and the waterproofing done, and now it's time to treat it for bugs. The seam is like the frame. Okay. And then so do the frame, and then spray lightly in the middle of the frame. The whole house with this foot. Just so you know, we used one ounce of seam sealer and they covered 76 lineal feet of seams. 
Perfect. Well, we hope that was helpful for somebody out there. We want to thank you all for watching. And you all have a great day.